Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Football Discussions. Uh, today, we are going to be doing yet another tier maker, this time with NFL wide receivers. Um, I'm just going to go over my rating system one more time. S is the best of the best elite wide receivers. A is uh, very good wide receivers. B is good wide receivers. C is like average. Uh, D is pretty bad. And F is like uh, you should be cut. So getting right into it, first up we have Tyreek Hill from the Chiefs. Uh, still up in the air whether Tyreek is going to play this year, um, but just from his play the past few seasons and if he is going to start this year on the Chiefs, I don't know if he's good enough to be S tier, but he's definitely A tier. I might switch that around later, but for now I'm going to stick him in A. Um, just such an explosive, versatile player off the ball. Has, I think, one of the best releases uh in the game just an overall beast at the wide receiver position so i'm gonna put him in a tier for now um next we have willie sneed i think of the ravens i mean sneed has been average his whole life uh his whole career so i'm gonna stick him in c uh which is average so just makes sense to me uh cory davis is also a c tier player um he's shown flashes of being a b even has a couple of games where he's up in A, but I mean, just the inconsistency from his uh, game is just not enough to put him up in B, so I'm gonna stick him in C. Um, I believe this is Philip Dorsett. I mean, if I'm putting Davis in C, I'm gonna put a Dorsett in D. Dorsett's never been a starter in this league, kind of always been like a fourth string on the Patriots, I feel like, uh, whether he's playing behind Amadola. Edelman and uh, that group, or now Josh Gordon and Keel Harry, he'll be behind. So never, never got that th- up to that even third string spot on the Patriots roster. So I mean, I think he's a D player, A B S tier. Uh, Antonio Brown, one of the best wide receivers this game has ever seen. I know I'm not a fan of his uh, at all. His personality makes me angry, but I mean. Y- you can't go against his his actual play on the field, and I mean that shows every time. I think he's one of the best, if not the best, receiver in the league uh, at the moment. I believe this is Devin Funches, who I think is now on the Pats. Funches, uh, I mean, at one point in his career, he could have been C. I mean, I'll have to see what he does on the Pats this year. I might stick him. Since he did get playing time on the Panthers, uh, I'm gonna stick him in C. He's pretty average. Probably, probably end up at the back of C. Uh, but yeah, not not the best. Will Fuller, also C tier. Uh, not the not the best wide receiver on the Texans, but I'm sure he'll he'll bump up to to B by the end of this season. I uh, from what we saw before he got hurt last year, Deshaun Deshaun Watson loves targeting this guy, so. Hopefully, Will Fuller will have a bounce back season, move up to B or even A. But for right now, I'm going to stick him in C. Amari Cooper. I'm going to put Amari in B. Uh, and I feel like people aren't going to hate on me for that. But, I mean, out of his entire career, he had one good half of a season. So we'll see if he stays consistent with that. And if he does stay consistent with that, he's definitely an A or even S tier player. So uh, Amari Cooper definitely earned himself that A, A tier. Zay Jones, just another average receiver, nothing special. T.Y. Hilton, another B tier. Uh, he's been good throughout his entire career. Andrew Luck's favorite target. Uh, maybe not anymore because Andrew loves throwing Ebron the ball, the tight end, over in Indianapolis. But T.Y. is a great player. Uh, has had consistent success throughout his year. Definitely, uh, definitely a B tier player. Julio freaking Jones, S tier. Julio does a game in and game out. Uh, probably my least favorite person to go up against in fantasy. Uh, he always drops like 40 bombs against me. Um, but he's just an insane player. Just so much talent, so much skill. Uh, just just an overall beast, like I said. So Julio, you're going to get stuck up in S tier next to AB. AJ Green currently, and I've said this in other videos, but... Um, I'm doing their current level, not what what they were in their prime, what they were two or three years ago. What they, I'm basing this off what their level is going into the 2019 season. And while uh, AJ Green might have been a S tier player uh, a few seasons ago, 
he didn't show me much last year. I know he he got injured with that. I think it was like a toe injury. Um, but I'm going to stick him in A for now. He definitely can move up to S if he has another great year. But, I mean, the guy throwing him the football is Andy Dalton. And Andy Dalton's definitely uh, falling off right now. So I'm going to put him in A. Emmanuel Sanders, definitely a B-tier guy. Again, another guy that was once A-tier in his career. Um, but getting old now, still produces for the Broncos. I'm not saying that that he doesn't, but uh, I'm going to stick him in B for now. Um, I believe this is Michael Gallup. I think Gallup was a rookie last year. Uh, I haven't s- Gallup definitely, I mean, could be the Cowboys' future uh, franchise wide receiver alongside Amari Cooper. Um, but for right now, I'm going to stick Gallup at the right next to Corey Davis at the top of C. Uh, Gallup definitely definitely on the rise as a player. Don't be surprised if uh, he's B or even A next year. Um, Allen Robinson. Uh, I mean, Robinson is a good player. I'm going to stick him at the back of B because I do believe he's like above guys like uh, Corey Davis and Will Fuller in his game. Um I feel like Trubisky didn't really target Robinson that much last year, but I'm a fan of his. I think he he's consistent. Uh, that's the main thing I look for in that like B to C line. Um, and the reason why a guy like Corey Davis is below that B line is the consistency. I mean, Corey Davis is all over the place with his numbers, while Allen Robinson uh, continuously gets like 65 to 75 catches a year, um, and is always always a main target for whoever's throwing him the ball, whether it's Bortles or Nat Trubisky in Chicago. So I think Allen Robinson deserves to be a B-tier guy. Devontae Adams, S, uh, SRA. I mean, his, his going back to the consistency point, his consistency is unreal. This guy gets literally the same stats every game and not bad. They are good stats, like two touchdowns, 75 yards, six catches. Just his production value, I think, is going to put him over Tyreek Hill Um, because Tyreek Hill has those games where he'll get like one catch for seven yards um, while Devontae Adams I don't think ever has one of those games. So I think that's what puts him over a guy like AJ or uh, Tyreek for right now. I believe this is Mike Williams from the Chargers. Williams is another guy that I'm I, I'm a second B because he's consistent. I think he's really going to take over Keenan Allen's role uh, as Keenan continues to age. I think Mike Williams is the future. I mean, really, really showed flashes of greatness last year. So I think he deserves to be in B. Edelman, A tier. I mean, this guy is uh, – people get upset with like, oh, he only runs five-yard routes. But he's so good at them. And the things that he does after catches are also absurd. I mean, uh, he's he's a Hall of Famer in my book from his uh, – just for his playoff production value. But, I mean, he's so good at getting away from defenders, regardless of whether it's a five-yard route or a 50-yard route. He, he gets the separation that he needs. And uh, I feel like Brady's always throwing to him. So I'm going to stick Edelman in A. Um, Cortland Sutton, he's right along the lines, maybe even better than Michael Gallup. I think, I think Cortland's going to have a breakout year this year for the Broncos. Don't be surprised if he's an eighth year player by next year. Uh, but I think he fits perfectly in C because we've only seen one season of his, not the best season either. But then again, Case Keenum was throwing in the football. Uh, so you never know. Randall Cobb, now a cowboy. I'm going to stick him in C. Actually, uh, I mean, Cobb's production has significantly decreased in the past few years. I'm going to stick him in C for now. Uh, not not, not the best, but not bad either. Same with Deshaun Jackson. I think he's actually going to be really good on the Eagles this year. I think he's going to be Wentz's, Wentz's go-to deep guy. So I'm also going to stick him in C, but, I mean, a little, a little iffy on that one. I believe this is Jamison Crowder, now the Jets wide receiver. I mean, Crowder... Crowder's production is just bad. Uh, below guys like Zay Jones and Randall Cobb. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick Crowder in D. I mean, maybe he'll have more success on the Jets, but I, I, I think he's a he's a D-tier guy. Keenan Allen. Uh, Keenan Allen. 
Keenan had a kind of an off year last year. Not like, I mean, he played well. I think he's good enough to be in the, in the A tier consideration. He's better than guys like Emmanuel Sanders. And like I said about Amari, Amari had a fantastic second half of the year, but before that, his whether it was because he was in Oakland and not in the right environment, uh, but before that, he wasn't like good at all. So I think Keenan is consistently better than a guy like Amari. So I'm going to put Keenan in A. Golden Tate. Ugh, Tate. He had a couple of great years on the Lions. Uh, didn't do the best on the Eagles, and I was with the Giants. Probably be like, end up being Eli's number one target, I feel like, over even Shep. I'm going to put, I'm gonna put Tate in C. Tate's a C-tier guy. Um, Michael Thomas asks. I mean, he is. When I talk about pro- production, he's insanely good. I mean, every time that I, I, it was some crazy stat last year, but it was like only three times that Drew Brees targeted Michael Thomas was it an incompletion. So, I mean, that just shows you uh, how good at, he is at getting the ball. And I mean, like he had, it's not like he only had like 50 catches. He had like close or upwards of a hundred. So, I mean, he's so, I think he's actually in my mind, currently the best wide receiver in the NFL. If we're going to do it, like I think Michael Thomas Unless I'm missing someone blatantly obvious on this uh, board. I think he's the best wide receiver in the NFL. Also, they have Michael Thomas twice. So I'm just going to stick this second Michael Thomas at the end and not worry about him. Uh, yeah, but Thomas is definitely an S-tier guy. Uh, Tyler Boyd. Uh, Boyd's good. Underratedly so, too. Uh I mean, he's consistent in his game. I mean, he's right along with Corey Davis. Uh, shows flashes, but doesn't have, like, the best production. I think he's definitely C. Marvin Jones, towards the end of his career, going into 2019, I think he, ugh, people are going to get mad at me about this one, but I think he's – maybe he's C. I don't – we'll stick him in C. I'll be nice to Marvin, but, I mean – Definitely not good enough to be B. Uh, Jones, he's he's good. I mean, he's he's had some good seasons, but just overall isn't isn't consistent enough to be in B. But I I don't want to put him in a D tier. I feel like that's a little a little mean. All right, uh, next I believe this is Muhammad Sanu. Sanu, I'm gonna put. Uh, can I put him over? I think he's also C. Yeah, he's he's C. I, I can't put him in B with a guy like Amari Cooper or T.Y. I mean, it's just the separation between C and B is just so so hard to, like, tell. Robert Woods, I am going to stick Robert Woods in B just because of his – I mean, when Cup went down last year towards the end of the year, Robert just exploded, became Goff's even favorite target over uh, Brandon Cook. So – I think that uh, Woods fully deserves to be in in, in uh, that that B tier. Beasley, your D. I mean, Beasley's not the best. Low production on the Cowboys. I mean, we'll see how he does on the Bills. He'll probably end up being like Allen's number one uh, slot player. Maybe John Brown will assume that role too. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But honestly, I don't see Beasley being a C tier player right now. I mean, Again, one of these guys that has had good seasons in the past, but I mean, it's just it's just not enough to put him in a even in C tier. Panthers wide receiver DJ Moore. Uh, I really liked Moore last year, but again, he's kind of like Sutton and Gallup here. Uh, maybe maybe he's gonna. I mean, I want to put more in B, but I'm gonna stick him in C for now. He'll just these three guys definitely can go up in their careers immensely, become B or A's or even S's. Um, but for right now, they're all going to stay in C going into the 2019 season. Uh, Cooper Cup. Uh, Cup's right behind Woods. When Cup's healthy, he plays good football. But for right now, I'm going to stick him in C. I feel like people are going to get mad about that, but I don't see him being up there with those B-tier players. Um, Sammy Watkins, another C guy. Just not consistent enough to B and B. 
all like the the top of the B tier or C tier, sorry, is uh in even until Will Fuller, like this until this line, these are extremely good football players. Uh just not good enough to be along the lines of Emmanuel Sanders, Amari Cooper, T. Y. Hilton, Allen Robinson, Mike Williamson, Robert Woods, OBJ S tier. Easy. Oh, why why aren't you moving OBJ? Easily an S tier guy. I mean he's just phenomenal at uh what he does. Just so good. Uh I'm not even a giant I'm a Giants hater and I know he's on the Browns now, but uh, from what I've seen, I've only seen him play for the Giants, and he's just so good. Another guy like AB, though, I'm not really a fan of his attitude, but just recognizing game, he is insane. Larry Fitz, I'm still going to fit Fitz and see. At one time, he was obviously an S-tier player, but, I mean, I hope that he has a great – I hope he has a great season this year with the Murray and then decides to retire. That's what I hope for Fitz. I know he doesn't want to walk away from the game yet, but – uh, I think that he could be Murray's top target. Uh, Stefan Diggs. I'm going to stick. Uh, it's Diggs A. Diggs is really good. I'm going to stick Diggs at the top of B. I might change that a little later, but for right now, I think Diggs definitely is a C, or sorry, a B, B tier player on the verge of becoming an A tier player. Robbie Anderson, top of C. I mean, hopefully Darnold and Anderson connection will start to get going really well this year. But uh, for right now, I'm going to stick him and see. Uh, just the production value isn't there yet. Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett is a B-tier player. I mean, now that Doug Baldwin's gone, I think Tyler Lockett's going to be uh, so good on the Seahawks. Russell Wilson's a deep guy. Uh, I think he's going to rack up a ton of yards this year. Uh, surprised a lot of people. He's definitely B in my mind. Dez, at this point in his career, uh, if I'm putting Fitz in C, I might as well put Dez in C, along with Deshaun Jackson too. I mean, just some old, some vet. Uh, Fitz is better than a lot of these guys. So. Put Fitz right there. Uh, Dez is just so old now, coming off an injury. Just don't see, don't see him performing that great this year. So he's a C tier player. Quincy Nunwa, another C tier player. Uh, not bad, but not great. Dustin Aguilar, guess what? He's a C tier player too. Uh, again, not bad, but just not like an outstanding player. Mike Evans. Ugh. I'm gonna have to put Evans in A just because his supporting cast hasn't been there. But he's so he's such a good receiver. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be an A. Um, Calvin Ridley B. I know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, his, his, the difference between like Ridley, I feel like DJ Moore even had more production than Gallup and Sutton. But he just had such a good start to the year. Uh, I don't know if I can put him. I don't know. I'm gonna stick Ridley and B just because. He is, or he did have better production than all three of these guys who were rookies last year, but uh, really definitely could um, pop off this year and show us uh, why he deserves to be in B or even A. Um, Shep, uh, I'm a fan of Shep's, but is he a B tier player? Actually, uh, Shep might be B tier. But he's not as good as like a guy like Amari Cooper. I, I'm gonna stick Shep at the top of C. He's definitely the best player if I'm putting him C tier in the C tier. Uh, but he's not better than Ridley. I mean, Ridley's not better than Shep. I'm gonna actually switch these two. I'll, I'll put Shep and B and Ridley at the top of C. Um, Kenny Stills D. Ah, I'll put him in C because he he just hasn't had that quarterback the past few seasons, and when he did. Have like Tannehill and Tannehill's prime. He did perform well, so I mean I'm just gonna stick him and see. Uh, I believe this is DD Westbrook, another C tier player. I mean, not bad, but not not great. Uh, Juice Juice is B. As much as I want to put Jarvis in A, I can't put Jarvis in A when Diggs is not in A. I mean Jarvis has has great years and has great. Uh, great uh, plays and is a big play potential player, but I, I 
I just don't see him up there with a guy like Mike Evans or uh, Tyreek Hill. Brandon Cooks, another guy who's uh, right at the top of B, just a great player overall. Um, so I think he, he should be in B, maybe on the verge of A. Uh, Jeffrey, ugh, Jeffrey's basically dear DTR at this point. I know that's going to make Eagles fans unhappy, but, I mean, just, just looking at his uh, – his drops, th- those next gen stats, uh, he just has so many drops a game, uh, and I think his between bringing in Arcega Whiteside and uh, Aguilar now and uh, Ertz, I just think that he's just not going to perform well this year. Juju Smith Schuster is most definitely an eight tier player. Uh, people sleep on Juju even. Even past, uh, or even after last season, and how he performed in the second half of that year, he was so good, just such a good, consistent player. I think he definitely does, deserves to be an A tier player. I think he'll soon be an S tier player. Um, but yeah, I'll put him in A. Uh, Marquise Goodwin. I mean, Goodwin's good, but I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put him in B to C. Uh, Kenny Galladay, definitely a B-tier player. Uh, Kenny, Kenny has a lot of success at the wide receiver position, plays really, really well, um, and, uh, deserves, deserves B, and I think he'll just continue to grow as a player. Adam Thielen, uh, after Thielen's year last year, I might have to stick him in A. Thielen is just, I think he was undrafted too, but I think that Thielen is... I think he's a little better than Diggs at this point in the game just because of the separation that he gets and his route running ability. Uh, so I'll, I'll stick Steel in an A, but I think he might he might have a little less production than he did last year and fall into that B-tier category. D-Hop. D-Hop is uh, got to be S, right? He's so good. Yeah, definitely S. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, one of the, one of the better uh, wide receivers in the game right now. Just the catches that that guy makes. He has sticky hands. Uh, so def- definitely going to stick him in S. Um, and finally, I believe this is Devontae Parker, another G-tier guy. Just don't don't see enough of uh, his game to put him in, um, in C. So that's going to do it for today's video. I guess we're not going to have an F tier, but I guess we can stick Michael Thomas 2.0 and uh, F. But that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm sure a lot of you are going to disagree. Uh, but yeah, here's one last look at uh, my wide receiver tier rankings. See you guys next time.